right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Boxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand, this is not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul Jabbar I, to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Lafayette, Louisiana, Assassin! And now to defeat his opponent, fighting at the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out there. You ready? You ready? That's right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but ready to This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. He is all about that left kick to the body. Leg nice kick. punch there by Lou. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. 
All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Punch over the top. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Just misses with the left hook. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Just misses with the right. for the inside leg kick. You got him whip his hip into that kick. No Liver kick, big call punch land. Now we get back to range. Beautiful. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Back to that left kick once again. Nice kick landed there by Lee. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Landed a big kick there. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with beating. 20 seconds to go. Lands with the right hand. 10 seconds to go in round one. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Round two is next. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs. And in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. All right, let's get to round two. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. He blocks the shot. 
You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. How about that shin? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. And that one was heavy. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad in his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He's given him so many different things right now. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. He blocked the punch. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Good punch, Lance. All right, single collar tie now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. as he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, targeting it, right? Just looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle. He needs to get into space so that he does Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. 20 seconds left. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. 
All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponents are wobbly legs. That is exactly what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Third round underway. Beautiful punch. Straight right hand now just misses. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Way to hide that leg kick. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Oh, oh. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, right lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big punch land. Ooh. Man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Clean left punch followed by the right. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Jab hurt him. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Hands high, hands high. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Well, he gets caught with that punch. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Ooh, what a punch. He lands the head kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. Big oh, knee nice lands knee. there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Let's get some points. Let's get that. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least part.
partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's going to need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You got to think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardio oh, oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, big head kick. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on him. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Sneaky head kick. And he caught the kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he expends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 33 seconds of round number 4. Declared the winner by Knockout Assassin. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.